In this video, I'm talking all about our new sunscreens and which one is right for you. Stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back. So if you're wondering what's the difference between the two, the Dr. SD Sun Protection Mild, this is SPF 50, PA++++, this has oil absorbing, also there's a lot of zinc oxide in here, so it is a broad spectrum SPF. It is a non-tinted matte mineral SPF 50. It has PA++++, so it has extra UV protection. It is waterproof up to 80 minutes. It's a physical broad spectrum protection that you can use even after procedures. It's also photostable so it won't degrade in sunlight. This also has vitamins C and E. This is really good for sensitive skin that may be oily and it's very thin. It's when you don't want to feel like there's anything on your face. And you put this on and I'll show you that this has no white cast which is really nice. They made it in a special way so that you can see the the white cast just disperses and I use this on my darker clients and even my daughter and we couldn't see it so that's good this is a lightweight waterproof formula that's great for sensitive skins that's great for acne skins that's great for oily skins it's not heavy it leaves your skin feeling clean and protected so this is a really nice sort of everyday moisturizer. I've been using it if I have, uh, I, I put a lot of layers on in the morning, I will grab for this. Because you know we're always trying to temper, the, oh then this dries down to a matte finish. So we're always trying to sort of temper how much moisture we put on and I generally really like this when I put a lot of layers on and my face feels pretty, pretty heavy, I'll put this on and it's perfect. The entire Dr. Esty line is from Korea and it is made for sensitive skin. So they're all about sensitive skin. And I do love this line. I think it's perfect for skins that tend to react in an odd way or sensitive skin, sort of unpredictable skin. It's always nice because you can use these products and be sure that you're not gonna, your face is not gonna blow up, which is nice. So there's Sun Protection Ultra Repair. This is a really interesting sunscreen. Once again, it has their technology so that you put it on and it sort of just disappears. Like it, it there's no white cast, which once again, I, I love that. This wears a bit heavier than the mild sunscreen. This is made for sensitive skins. It has six different peptides in it and plant stem cells, two plant stem cells. You know, when they put plant stem cells in skincare products, they don't just willy-nilly pick a plant. They pick plants that show Olympic style qualities to sort of survive the elements, right? So they grow on the side of a mountain way up with no oxygen, they they extend massive heat, whatever. They they usually do not pick just tomato plant stem cell. No, we need bionic plant stem cells, right? And so that's what they've put in to these two of these types of plants who've exhibited like Olympic quality survival skills. And then it has six different anti-aging peptides in it and calming peptides. So it's nice because you can just, you know, if you don't if you wake up in the morning and you've got all these things to do, you can just wash your face and put some of this on and you're done. You just run, do your thing. So it's a skincare, it's sun care and skincare. Now I usually put some of my serums on underneath this because I just feel incomplete if I don't. But if you needed to just do one and done, this would be it. And lastly, this has goat's milk extract, which acts like a probiotic and also brightens the skin. So yeah, if you're really into the Korean style sunscreens, this one is perfect for you. And this is made to really, really repair the skin. If you have a compromised barrier, if you've been doing too many acid peels, this is something you could put on in the morning and you really wouldn't need anything else. Once again, it's light, not as light as the mild, but a little more nourishing, but not heavy. 
This repairs damage and it applies like a luxurious cream onto the skin, leaving no white cast. So this is for you if you just wanna do one step in the morning and you're done. That's the biggest difference between this and this is this is physical and this is chemical, although they are both formulated for sensitive skins and this is a little bit more nourishing. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye now.